Alright, what's going on, y'all? So, following in from the news that the Order 1886 will be running at 1080p, 30 frames per second, which the Xbox fanboys have been, for some reason, celebrating about, um, it's been also confirmed that the game will not have multiplayer. Now, this has been there's been a, there's been like a mixed response to this news about the multiplayer. Some people say it's a good thing. Some people say it's a bad thing. Now, me personally, I think this is a good thing. People are forgetting Ready at Dawn. This is their first time making a AAA console game. Like the two games that they made, the, the God of Wars. Um, I'm talking about recent times anyway. The only games that they made are the God of Wars, Ghost of Sparta, and Chains of Olympus on the PSP. Obviously, these weren't console games, so they haven't made console games for quite a while, right? This is the first time making a console game. And I would real, really prefer an amazing single-player experience rather than a half-assed attempt at multiplayer. I mean, multiplayer is great. I, I love multiplayer games. Battlefield, Killzone, Flipping The Last of Us, Uncharted. Um, the list goes on and on and on. Maybe not Call of Duty because that game sucks. But you get the gist of what I'm trying to say. I'm a huge fan of multiplayer. And if this game had multiplayer, that would be good. The fact that they said that they want to solely concentrate on the single player experience, I think that's amazing. Like I said, I'd rather play an amazing single player experience, a memorable experience, rather than something that's, you know, not well attempted at. For example, Tomb Raider. Great single player. And then they wanted to go make the stupid ass multiplayer, which was absolutely garbage. I played one or two games. It was so boring. I dominated as well. Just couldn't be bothered playing it. So bad. So bad. Another example, Batman Arkham City. Amazing single, single player game, but you know, they wanted to flip and rush some shitty ass multiplayer into the game. That is not on. And I don't, I don't want to see that. I played that uh, multiplayer for Batman once or twice. Never did I play it again. Sold the game off after playing the single player. I just don't like seeing it. I just don't like seeing it. And the fact, I mean, like I said, this is their first attempt at a huge single player multiplayer. Um, console game so i'd rather they fully attempt an amazing single player experience then maybe in the future they could consider adding maybe multiplayer or co-op here's the thing multiplayer i'm cool that they don't have multiplayer but judging from the trailers and shit i would have loved to see some sort of co-op mode maybe some sort of survival type of mode where you're shooting off all these aliens it, whatever these crazy animals are that you're shooting I would have loved to see some sort of survival. And the thing is that they can actually add it later on. I'm sure if um, all of us guys that go out and buy the order in A6, if we say that we want some sort of co-op DLC or something, I'm sure they might listen to us because Killzone, Killzone doesn't have a co-op mode. They're going to be releasing that as an expansion DLC, whatever, later on. So it can be done. I mean, once the game, game comes out and if people start saying that they want to see some sort of co-op, some sort of survival co-op like maybe a Call of Duty Zombies or what they're trying to do in Kills and Shadowfall I think it could work really well especially from what we saw with the, with the trailer so far like the four players and shit like that would be real that would be really cool but I'm so happy that they're concentrating on single player because like I said I love multiplayer but I would, I'd rather see an amazing single player experience an amazing story rather than them trying to make some sort of multiplayer that does not really work you know what i'm saying infamous second son which comes out in probably about six or seven weeks time doesn't have multiplayer and i'm so glad that game doesn't have multiplayer because infamous doesn't even need a multiplayer the game's so good the story's so good the gameplay's so good the graphics are so good why do you have to start adding shit extra when when you know that it might not even work, you know what I'm saying? The only way I'd say they should be adding a multiplayer is if they do it from the very beginning of development. Like, there's no point making um, a multiplayer in a few months. Like, don't start adding this shit on. For example, just like the flipping Tomb Raider and um, the Batman multiplayer. I mean, if they really made the Batman multiplayer from day one, I thought, then maybe it could have been really good. But... If they're just gonna add it, add that shit in just to please a few retards out there, then I don't want to see none of that. 
You know, and some people say, oh, multiplayer games, the game legs and shit like that. I'd rather play a 10 to 15 hour amazing single player experience than play a 10 hour single player experience with, a, with an additional one or two hours of shitty ass multiplayer. Don't want none of that. Don't want none of that whatsoever. I want an amazing single player experience, an amazing story, amazing characters. I'd rather see all of that than a multiplayer which doesn't really fit the bill. And like I said, Ready at Dawn, this is their first console game in a while. I'd rather they concentrate on the single player experience, make an amazing game, then in the future, if they want to bring out a sequel or whatever, then maybe they can start considering multiplayer, co-op, all that stuff. But I'm not too fussed about the fact that it doesn't have multiplayer. I'm, all, I'm glad. I'm pretty glad. You know, if they did want to do a multiplayer, I'm, that, that would be fine by me. But they'd have to do it day one and make sure it's amazing rather than making it just tacked on and it just turns out to be garbage. Don't want to see none of that. Do not want to see none of that. I'd rather them concentrate on single player and multiplayer from day one. For example, like a Killzone game or you know an Uncharted game and all that kind of stuff. So um yeah, let me let me know what you think down below in the comments. And another thing, if they are gonna do, if they are gonna do some sort of tacked on multiplayer. They have to make sure it's really good, like The Last of Us multiplayer, which was absolutely amazing. Or God of War Ascension, which was something really nice and fresh. I mean, it had it would have to be amazing. I mean, I just don't want to see a half-assed attempt at multiplayer. I just don't want to see it. God of War, God of War doesn't even need multiplayer. But when they added multiplayer, and I really got into it. It was actually really good. I'm not saying it's the best multiplayer game ever, but it was actually a really good multiplayer game. You know what I'm saying? Same goes for The Last of Us. The Last of Us multiplayer is probably one of the best multiplayer games I've played. It was just so creative and so amazing. They could have done much more stuff to it, which would have made it amazing. But, you know, I, I put a ridiculous amount of hours into The Last of Us Smart Player. But, um, yeah, like I said, for me, it's not a big deal. I'm pretty glad that they're not going to... They're not going to try and make some shitty-ass multiplayer. So, um, yeah, let me know what you think down below in the comments about this. Don't forget to hit the like, subscribe, all that shit. Um, Twitter, my PSN. All that stuff, links will be down in the description below. And um, I'm out, y'all.